So last thoughts, going back and forth to prison is not love, break up with the soul tie. So anything that is hurting you, creating uh, anxiety, uh, unproductive, uh, no productivity, lying to you, you use it to lie to your lie to yourself, you're gonna have to break up with it. Any soul tie that you have built with the belief system, with a person, uh, with the prison, you're gonna have to break up with it. It's gonna be painful, it's gonna hurt. Uh, because if you've been in prison all your life, you gave up all your good years, all your life, it's gonna be hard to break up with something like that. Because it's been a friend. And when you come out and people act up with you, you know you can go back to prison and depend upon prison. But that's not something that's going to be able to last long term because you can't give all your life to prison. That cannot be the bulk of your life, your life's contribution, what you hope to accomplish. There has to be more to your life than prison. So that means you cannot, you can no longer see it from a fond, uh, loving manner, mentality. You can't see it from that anymore. Because if you do that, you're going to find yourself coming back and rebounding and using it as a, as a romantic, aspirational ideal of, of yourself. People romanticize prison. You see a lot of films about prison. You see a lot of people holding it down for, for, for their partner who's in prison. No, no, don't hold it down for someone who's going back and forth in prison. If you got someone who's in prison, you, you're married to that person or long-term that person, and you want to work it out, okay, then you guys need to have a really good plan to work it out so the person stays out of prison and don't provoke the situation. Uh, you stick together, et cetera. Otherwise, you need to break up with that soul tie. If you have a person, uh, you were holding it down, You got you. he got out the first time, you helped him, and then he went right back in. Um, depending upon how long you want to put up with that situation, at some point, you got to say, I can't do this anymore. I got to break up with the soul tie. My, I'm, I'm worried all the time. I can't go to sleep. I can't get anything done. Uh, he doesn't want to stop the criminal activity. And what's going to end up happening, what you often fear, is that if you leave him alone, he's going to go with someone else and marry someone else. And that's usually what happens. When you stop feeding the monster um, uh, of, of him going back and forth in prison, he, he is faced to confront himself. And what happens is they don't reward you when they come out. They reward someone else who did nothing for them. It's the same concept of men... When they get on, they'll have the come up woman, use her for all her resources, run her down emotionally, mentally, uh, psychologically. But then when they come up and make more money, they drop her and marry someone who did nothing for them and who would never do anything for them. And so it's better to break up with the soul tie now that you have your mind. Because if you stay too long in any type of situation that is not productive, it's going to affect you mentally. When you are out of the survival mode of that situation, you can feel the effects later. So it's much better to uh, work on the fear and, and begin the transition process of breaking up with that soul tie. All right, so now that you've gotten to the end, this is, um, you can visit, subscribe, and follow. Um, my website is reginawhyfavors.com. Then you can visit my YouTube YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at Regina Y. Favors. And then I have an author store, reginawhyfavorsauthor.com. I also have other types of websites as well. So thank you very much for listening.